Hey, what's going on everyone? Aaron here at Kite Paddle Surf and today we are going to be looking at the Ride Engine Light Harness. This is a newer harness in their lineup and it has a lot of attributes of the Elite uh, but more of a stripped down lighter version of it and in the same uh, same size, um, saving almost a kilogram of weight. So they're definitely trying to strip the weight down because some people are just liking a little more, going towards more of a minimal harness, whether that is for kite foiling or they just don't need all of that support for doing big air and they just like to do cruising, ripping around, or maybe in the surf as well. So a little bit more minimal feel in there. And it has the foam they've used on the inside is a little bit different. It's a little bit more of an open foam here that's textured, so it's gonna grip. And it just doesn't have that closed in foam there and then it's wrapped in a neoprene on the outside here so it's going to be comfortable with or without a wetsuit uh, as far as the hard shell it still features that real rigid feel so it has all that support uh, instead of carbon they use this more this composite material it's probably gonna have a little bit more flex to it and um, just have It'll be quite, it'll be supportive like the carbon, but not just not quite as stiff. So it gives you a little bit more mobility there. Uh, still some of the same features. It has the um, handle pass leash attachment here if you're doing some of the freestyle. And then it also has the connections here for your short leashes, which most people are using. Um, it has your uh, standard uh, waist belt here. The waist belt runs through the entire harness. So when you strap down that Velcro, it's gonna give you a nice fit all the way around. And then it has the unity bar connections here. So this is gonna allow you that connection to really fine tune the fit. And then once it's fit, then putting it back together, it's always gonna feel the same. And you won't have to like readjust your Velcro every time you go to put your harness on. Uh, with the unity bar, there's different lengths. So look at the sizing chart and that can kind of help you figure out what size spreader bar you need. It also has available as a hook or you can use the rope system. So if you decide you wanna use it more strictly for foiling or for kite surfing, definitely go with the rope. That's the way to do it, to let that chicken loop slide so you can really um, articulate and move your body when you're making all those maneuvers. And so there it is. There is the new Ride Engine Light. It's a really rad harness, really lightweight. Pretty stoked on this harness from Ride Engine. So if you have any questions on this one, give us a call at the shop or shoot us a comment down below. We can answer it for you. Thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.